it's Jen again from Fabulous Paper Emporium. I just wanted to stop by today, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time it might be, to introduce to you some of the papers that we will be carrying at the end of the month uh, when the store goes live. So this is the first one that I pulled. Today we're going to be going through all photo play. Um, they happen to be the first order that arrived, which is super exciting. So I just thought I'd show you a bit. I've got a lot to go through, so I'm going to probably chop this up into a couple of different videos so I'm not overwhelming people. So today we're going to start with the hockey life. There's nothing more Canadian than hockey. So now that, although it doesn't feel like it, we're moving into fall and winter is probably close behind. I figured I'd go through this one. So I haven't even opened my pack yet. And so this is all pretty exciting, <laughs> I must say. So as you can see in the back, you've got your sticker sheet, which has lots of different things. Um, this one is actually a, like a Polaroid. So it's actually a frame. You can put, I guess, a little picture in there. You've got little hockey players or big hockey players. Um, so there's lots of wonderful things here, as well as the bottom is a bit of a border. So you can always cut that up and use as you'd like, whether it's on a scrapbook page or card, album, folio, what have you. I'm sure we'll be going through all of that and covering the gamut. So, um, so yeah, so that's your sticker page, um, which are really nice, thick stickers. They're made from the cardstock. So I'll set that aside and then we'll go through some of the paper. Always on the front, it will kind of go through all the different patterns that will be included as well, some of, as, well as some of the stickers. So that's kind of nice to see on the front. So this um, page can always be cut out. Uh, you can either use, like I said, for scrapbook pages. You can have this in the corner uh, with another photo, another couple of photos on the paper. You can make these ones into little cards if you wanted to. So nice that there's a female hockey player. Um, not to say that men aren't good, but the females certainly rocked it this year and uh, hockey skate, hockey season. So these can be used. They could be journaling cards, um, meaning you would put another another piece of cardstock that had lines on the other side and you can use them as journal cards that way. On the opposite side, <clears throat> we've got the hockey players and you'll get two sheets of, of that particular um, pattern. So we've got two sheets of that. Both of them have the same uh, pattern on the back, which is amazing. Um, and then we've got this one, which has all kinds of hockey terms, things that you would need. So you've got pass, shoot, top shelf, glove, Stanley Cup. <clears throat> Amazing little cardstock there. There we have pattern that looks like ice that's been used, played hard <laughs> on. So there we go. We've got two sheets of that one. And then we have the hockey equipment, the goalie mask, stick, puck, skates, that kind of thing. On the other side, we just have some red, very small diamond. I don't know if you can see that. Very small diamond pattern. Now this is just a, like a mini, a mini paper pack. Um, usually you would get 12 sheets. This one just has six sheets, 12 by 12, all double-sided, plus the page of, of um, stickers. <laughs> all right, that was an exciting start. I've got two more paper packs that I'll go through with you. The next one is Grease Monkey. So Grease Monkey is probably one of the few paper packs that I've seen that really have been, I guess, very much um, uh, male oriented paper. So this is what you would normally see for your regular 
uh, paper collection is uh, you've got 12 sheets, 12 by 12, double sided, um, amazing cardstock, and then you've got one sheet of the stickers. So let me pull out the stickers first because that's how I did it the first time. So here we go. So the stickers, <clears throat> lovely Mustang, um, plus, you know, some chain link handsome <laughs> I guess if uh what is it what's the saying if they can't find you handsome at least find you handy <laughs> so we've got the wrench I'm not sure what an axe has to do with you know with uh being a grease monkey but I guess you know if it doesn't fix you get your axe out uh golf club car wash happy father's day really great kind of color palette as well it's got that retro feel so that's lovely. So there's your stickers. And again, this gives you kind of the overall feel of the papers um, in the collection and uh, the patterns. So that's amazing. So put that off to the side. So here we go. We're gonna have two pages of the same, same thing that we saw in the first pack, which are journaling cards. They could be scrap, made into scrapbook. Um, uh, decorative pieces. So these are, are lovely to see. Got some nice chain link, very masculine, I guess. Um, <laughs> chain link fence. Uh, so we've got two pages of that. Here we have, looks like wheels, like from like one of those old, what is it? An Ford, those original Fords that came out. So we've got nice wheels on there. And then again, we've got the old fashioned gas pump, speed limit, uh, motorcycle, Mustang again. Correct me if I'm wrong. It may not be a Mustang. I'm just, it just looks like one. So anyways, um, got some lightning bolts. Oh, I had a friend that was looking for that earlier. <laughs> Little did I know that I was going to get this, but here we have checkered flag. <laughs> it's got a, you know, some, some distressing to it. So it looks a little bit more retro. And we've got a lovely stripe with a polka dot on the other side. I really do like that stripe, but if you stare at it too long or if I move it around too much, it'll make you feel a little bit dizzy, I think. So then we've got, again, another lovely pattern, exit, legend, some motorcycles on there. Boys will be boys. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some tire treads on the other side. And then we have a lovely diamond pattern with some brown stitched lines. So that is a pretty amazing pack, I, if I do say so myself. I feel, I feel like this will probably be used for Father's Day cards, for maybe an album for your father. You can put um, some amazing pictures of, of your dad and things like that. So that I really like. I did bring in for this collection as well, uh, the ephemera pack. So what ephemera is, is uh, you've got cardstock pieces. So these are already pre-cut out. There's no fussy cutting needed unless you're gonna put it on a mat, which, you know, depending on, on the uh, complexity of the shape, <laughs> Those of you who have mad fussy cutting skills, I'm sure will do well. Uh, I probably not as much, but like I said, it is uh, something that I'm working on. So just to give you an idea of what you have in here, you know, we've got the strip that says, let's go, let's go, level up. <laughs> uh, there's one that's Mr. Fix-It. I think we all know somebody who either truly can fix it or thinks they can fix it. <laughs> uh, we've got a lightning bolt built tough. These are amazing. And then these ones, you just punch out. They're, they're part of the sticker, or sorry, part of the ephemera pack, but they're all, um, you know, just, uh, what are they called? Perforated, perforated. So you can punch them out yourself and then use them again, decorating for cards, for uh, scrapbooking albums. These are amazing to use. And for this ephemera pack, you get 26 pieces. So that's 
quite a number of different pieces that you can use to decorate all your Father's Day, grandfathers, you know, just maybe even just somebody who likes cars. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a dad. So that is a pretty impressive pack, if I do say so myself. I've, I'm kind of partial to that one. But I think the next one is, is pretty close to my favorite. It's, you know, I guess maybe a sentimental favorite. And it's the O Canada 2. I'm so excited to get this one in and uh, really excited to go through it because, of course, it's all Canadian. So let's get this one open. We'll go through our sticker sheet first. And I've got to say, oh my gosh, this line of little toques at the top. Got to say that was nailed. Pancakes, of course. You've got your moose, your beer. Oh my goodness. All the provinces, Northwest Territories, Yukon. I think it hasn't really been updated, but... Oh no, got none of it there. Never mind. And A. <laughs> this is so incredibly cute. But I truly love... This is probably my favorite part so far. <laughs> and all we've done is opened it. So that is the sticker sheet. Lots of wonderful stickers to go through there. And here we go. First page. Well, I'm going to start with the with the journaling cards. And uh, I think these are four by six, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, four. And these ones would be three by four. So these are amazing for, like I said, for the journaling cards. You can even make like a simple card. If you are stuck and you want to make somebody a quick little card, then cutting one of these out, putting it on the front, a few ephemera bits or some other pieces from the rest of the pack. And there you go. You've got a card in probably less than 10 minutes. So here we go. We've got the two pages again. <laughs> so typical. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then we've got the looks like a Christmassy kind of tree, but I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. But it's kind of a cool pattern. Excellent. And then we've got our our moose playing hockey as well as the beavers and doing some typical Canadian activities for the winter. So typical with a lovely stripe. Oh, I really do that. Those two pages together really make kind of nice. And that's a beautiful thing about these card, the, the, the collection kits is your paper goes with something else in, you know, your designs all match. So you can easily pull out a couple of sheets of paper and if you wanted to use this as the background and this as the foreground, you've got lovely contrast, but it all goes together, which makes designing albums, folios, cards, layouts, anything that you are doing with the paper, it makes it so simple. So again, lovely stripe on the back of that one. And here we go. Typical Canadian maple syrup with some skates. I love Canada. I certainly do. Hockey stick, toques. So amazing. So cool. And a lovely tech. Well, it's not textured, but it looks, gives you an illusion of a textured wood. So that's lovely as well. And again, those two sheets go really nicely together. Just the same color combination. Beautiful. We have more maple syrup, pancakes, so typically Canadian. And if we go back to that sheets, those two sheets that have that lovely minty green, here we go. We've got three, three beautiful patterns that you can use, again, for a quick and easy card. It's like no muss, no fuss. You're done. On the back sheet of that, we have beautiful plaid that is on an angle. Love it. The toques, of course, there is nothing quite as Canadian as the toque with a lovely kind of splattered polka dot. It's not really polka dot, I guess. Could be. Maybe it's supposed to be snow falling. But again, like usually using that same color combination that we've seen before in the paper that, you know, all works together. 
lovely Canadian uh, maple leaf. Beautiful. I love that. And then A. We got A's. <laughs> uh, that was kind of corny. I apologize. <laughs> but there we go. We got A's. <laughs> and along with the paper, again, with, with the uh, O Canada 2, I've brought in some of the ephemera to go with that. I'll take the whole thing out in this way. I'm not getting it stuck on that sticky little part. So a couple of sheets that you'll just have to, you know, punch out by yourself. They come out really easily. But again, this would be same thing. You've got a nice little frame, smaller frame, maple syrup with pancakes. I am getting so hungry now <laughs> for pancakes and maple syrup. We've got Canada, sorry again, uh, curling, curling rock, stone. I'm not sure, I'm not a curler. So we've got A as an ex explanation mark and A as a question mark. Some lovely little bits and pieces here. True North, hockey of course, loonies and toonies. And if you don't know what that is, it's not like short form for you know, Canadians, it's uh, our money. <laughs> Crazy, but it's true. And uh, yeah, so that is it for the paper that we have for this go round. So we've got O Canada 2, Grease Monkey, and The Hockey Life. I'm so glad you could join me today. I look forward to showing you the rest of the product that we've got in. So say stay tuned for uh, extra videos. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.